there's uh, it's no mystery to most of you that there's been a serious Twitter beef raging for the past number of days between a couple of our authors. I would like to thank them personally for putting aside this beef and sitting civilly next to one another on stage. I just want to thank you for all that. And thank all of our authors this evening before we bring up our final. On that point of thanks and reconciliation, please welcome one last time to the lectern our final writer for the evening, Gail Simone. Oh, 
Scalzi, unaware that he was in grave danger. I guess it explains my whole burrito obsession, right? <laughs> because of the shape, he added helpfully. It was then, like a turgid bolt of erect lightning, that far, the king of the Orgulons left up to challenge the Earthman, snarling in rage and fury. Like all of his species, he could shapeshift his form from a simulacrum of the heaven apex predator in his proximity. In this case, John Scalzi himself. <laughs> Destroy you, Earth male, said the suddenly handsome alien predator. <laughs> As their swords touched in an explosion of heterosexuality. <laughs> it's like there are two massive dicks fighting, said Princess Allura, who then decided to just take the scepter herself to the fane and do the quest or whatever. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say, yelled John Scalzi, just as a brutal thrust from his bent, hairless sword stabbed into the heart of the cruel alien doppelganger. Wow, talk about a self-insertion. <laughs> he then slapped his own forehead and said, oh man, I think I really misread this entire conversation. What a massive tool. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say about Tharn, exclaimed the dying Orgulon King with his final breath. I am totally going to tweet about this, said John Scalzi. It was then that the entire Orlokian population realized John Scalzi truly was the biggest penis in the universe. <laughs>